This is problem number seven from section 2.4. And this problem, it says, use the relation limit as theta approaches zero of sine theta over theta equal one to determine the limit. They give us the limit as theta approaches zero of three sine root two theta over root two theta. So the first thing we have to do is we have to understand that <clears throat> As theta approaches zero, root two theta also approaches zero. So as theta approaches zero, so root root two theta approaches zero as theta approaches zero. Now, because that's true, we can essentially um, replace this limit of theta approaching zero with root two theta approaching zero because they're they're approaching the same number. Obviously, as you plug in zero, you're getting zero there. So we're gonna say limit as root two theta approaches zero. We have three sine root two theta over root two theta. Now we're gonna use an algebra manipulation that's it's used quite often. We're gonna replace root two theta with x, so we're gonna say x equals root two theta. So we're just saying that this expression is now equal to this variable. We're essentially switching the variable. Well, if we do that, that means that we have limit as x approaches zero of three sine x over x. Well, you should be noticing that sine theta over theta equaling one, we're getting close there, we have sine x over x. So if we go ahead and split this now and we say that's equal to limit as x approaches zero, we can write that as three sine x over x. And we know that sine theta over theta, well, that's the same thing, right? X is standing for theta in this case. So we can say that sine x over x is also equal to one. So we end up with the limit as x approaches zero of three times, replace that with one, so this equals three. And then we could replace the x value with our root two theta or just theta, and we can say that the limit as root two theta approaches zero is three. And we could say root two theta approaches zero of this function, so we could actually write that in there, three sine root two theta over root two theta is equal to three. So long story short, you've got the same thing in the inside the angle that's being divided down here. This relation says that sine of whatever's on the inside divided by whatever was on the inside is equal to one. So you can essentially replace this with one and the algebra to do that is setting x equal to root two theta and then replacing this with x for each of those pieces, and now you can replace it with one.